Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's been almost three months now since I decided to Plasti Dip my Gemini wheels matte black. And I live in Iowa, and it was a, before really the weather turned bad, and we've had a horrendous winter this year. Super cold, lots of snow, lots of salt, lots of road debris, and many people have asked me, how well have they held up? Well, I thought I would show you, so I'll show you a video right here showing you what they look like, and they actually look pretty gnarly. Um, I haven't really cleaned them in a while. I've only washed the car once since the winter started because it's really difficult to, uh, to do a, a wash on your car, especially if you want to wash it yourself. I did a no-rinse solution in my garage a while back. worked really well. I'll save that for a separate video. But basically what I found is, is I, I took the hubcaps off. I couldn't hose them off outside because the hose in my garage actually was frozen because it's so cold right now. Brought them in and just washed them off with some soap and water and um, this is how they turned out. I actually have also an ulterior motive for wanting to clean the wheels because I wanted to spruce them up a little bit. I decided to go on Etsy and find some vinyl stickers that I can mount to the center hub of the wheels. Um, in my previous video, which I will uh, link up here if you want to go watch uh, how I plasti dip my wheels, but one of the things that I decided to do was to leave the center hub silver. And I did that because once you put the hubcaps on the Gemini wheels on a Model Y, the outside edge of the wheel st is still exposed and it's still silver. And I thought the silver hubcap with the silver edge would uh, look nice. And overall, I like the look. It's not for everybody, but um, each to his own. So I, I saw that there are some aftermarket hubcaps out there that actually put a color inside the logo, the Tesla logo on the center hub. And I thought that was really neat. So I went on Etsy and found them and bought them and they, they showed up relatively quickly. And I thought I'd show you what they look like on the car and how they went on. So as you can see, the Plasti Dip hubs cleaned up really well. All I did was wash them uh, in the house with uh, soap and water because it's too cold outside to uh, wash them outside right now in Iowa. And I've had these for three months now and I have to say that basically they look almost exactly like they did uh, when I put them on and I'm actually quite surprised. Um, there aren't any nicks, there aren't any additional scratches. Um, the Plasti Dip seems to be holding up uh, very well. The dark spots you see here are just um, some excess water that I had on there. Now one of the things that I wanted to do while I was at it is I wanted to upgrade my hubs and add a red sticker um, emblem to the center silver emblem that I decided to keep um, silver because the outside edge of the Gemini wheel is silver also. And I thought these red stickers might help uh, kind of spruce it up a bit and it also matches my car. And I bought these off of Etsy. There'll be a link uh, to the stickers uh, below in the description. If you want to pick up um, some of your own, you can get them in various colors. I don't sell them, but they seem to be really good quality. Now I've already put this on the other three hubcaps, so I kind of know what I'm doing at this point. But one of the first things they recommend you do is they wipe everything off with an alcohol pad. And I've already done that. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to take the sticker you want to secure it to the clear front backing. After you've made sure that the sticker is stuck on uh, to this outside clear cover, you want to peel that off and get rid of that. And then you want to basically line this up with the center hub. And because I'm 50 years old, seeing up close is a little bit difficult. But you want to go ahead and line this up. There's an emboss on there. If you need to peel it up, you can, I found. And you just want to go ahead and put some pressure on the sticker to get it to lock in. And it's almost harder than putting the sticker on itself. It's finding an edge to peel back up. I find if you start at the top, it doesn't want to peel back up on itself. Once you do that, you just want to 
rub the sticker down. These stickers are made out of vinyl, so hopefully they'll hold up. And there you have it, um, the red center hub matching the red car, and I'll uh, show you what it looks like in the car after I get them mounted, but overall I really like how they look. So, three month review of the Plasti Dip hubcaps, I would give it a big thumbs up. Um, they seem to be holding up incredibly well given the conditions that they've been through. Um, they aren't scratching, they aren't chipping, they aren't stretching, they aren't ripping or tearing, they aren't discoloring. They actually look frankly just like they did when I put them on to begin with. So if any of you are looking to do a Plasti Dip on your Gemini hubcaps, I would highly recommend it. It seems to be holding up really well and I can't think of other conditions that would be worse than what I've put them through here in Iowa winter. And if you want to take it up to the next level, you can do what I did and uh, follow the link below and uh, go grab yourself some center hub uh, stickers to put on your hubcaps and uh, then just kind of make the hubcaps your own. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I do appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.